a tranquil uh, Sunday in Riverdale. Just think, a major presidential candidate is going to deliver a speech in Pickens Park. I can't imagine anything in little old Riverdale more exciting than this. Foresight, P. Jones? We must talk. Make it fast, okay? I don't want to miss Senator Bailey's speech. The fate of Senator Bailey, the entire world even, is in your hands. Oh, I get it. Reggie Mantle put you up to this, right? Th this is no joke. I'm an official timekeeper of the Time Police. Marshal January McAndrews. The senator will someday become president. He will go down in his state, ma'am. The records aren't clear, but somehow you saved, will save, his life. But a band of time thieves plan to change that. By stopping your good deed of the past, they hope to unleash much evil in the future, allowing them to take over. We must act fast. The time thieves may be here already. Just one question, January. Are you sure you don't know Reggie Mantle? Look, this evidence should finally convince you. Eeps. Meanwhile, the time police protect history from change. What fools. By tampering with the past, they could control the future. Yeah. For centuries, they've safeguarded the secrets of time travel. But now that we've stolen three of their timepieces, all that will change. We must locate Forsyth P. Jones before he can save Senator Bailey's life. I'm getting a reading on my juggle meter. He's very close. Cast the luck. Marshal McAndrews has found him fast. We'll get her, too. Set Thunderbolt rings on full force at my command. Fire! Huh? Lightning and thunder on a clear day like this? Strange weather. Those time thieves don't mess around. That hologram decoy of us I left bought us precious time. Good thing I convinced you with the evidence. A photo of me and Senator Bailey. But it hasn't been taken yet. I never met the man. So what's our next timely move, January? We escape in a micro-miniaturized thought balloon. Uh... A thought balloon? It's released upon impact. <laughs> Instantly encasing us. Think of where you want to go, and the balloon responds to your thoughts. Just so long it isn't Hoboken. <laughs> the famous Foresight P. Jones wit, even in the face of danger. Please, call me Jug. Everyone else does. All right, I shall, Foresight. Uh, I mean Jug. And I'll call you Jan. Isn't that better? Elsewhere? I'm still getting a life sign on my juggle meter. Look, we've been tricked. They're escaping in a thought balloon. Adjust T-bolt rings for maximum range. On my command, fire! They've spotted us. Must get... Oh! Jan! She, she's been hit. Stunned. Can't concentrate. We're drifting down. Coming in for a landing on Mr. Lodge's factory. Yeah, what a boring job. Nothing exciting ever happens. The plot balloon is dissolving on impact and... Oh my gosh, we're being followed. Chance woozy. Half out of it. Gotta help her inside fast. We are wasting time. Jones must be stopped at all costs. If he's as clever as the legend claims, we must summon our emergency backup. Agreed. Activate synchronized timepieces now! At the same time... Jug, wh where are we? Laying low. Shh. I think we've given up the slip. The madmen! They've called up a warbot from the future! I take that back. Warbots were outlawed after the Fifth World War. They're unstoppable. It's hopeless. There's always hope. Quick, behind those crates. January. Still dazed. Run, Chuck. Save yourself. Leave me. Okay, Jen. I'll run. If that's what you want. But I won't leave you. Single-handed. 
The legends are true. You're fearless. <laughs>